Hi guys, welcome in that new video about the Golem 4 Houdini plugin. In this video, I will show you how to create shaders and assign them to the crowds you've been loading uh, into Houdini. So right now within Houdini, I'm having a Golem cache proxy node, which has been loaded from the solution cache library. And you can see my characters are all gray. So let's say I would like to create a shaders for my skin, for example. So the first thing I would like to do is to check what's the name of that shaders uh, in the way it's been stored into the character file. So when you've been doing the character file, you've been storing for every single mesh, what's the name of the surface shader you're gonna use. So here for the head, for example, um, the name of the shading group is called MadMD Body SJ, and the name of the surface shader is called MadMD Body. So I'm gonna just uh, copy that information and go back with Unity. Um, if I take a look within the node, um, I'm having a couple of information about how material is going to be assigned. So first, where is it going to be stored into the Houdini graph? So by default, we store that into mat, which means if you go into up here, into mat and create your node, this is where we're going to read it from. And the other data we want to um, check is um, what do you want to use as a name for your shader? Do you want to use the surface shader or the shading group? So here, I just as I just copied the name of the surface shader, uh, that's the one I want to use. So I want to go back into my material here, and what I just want to do is uh, create, um, you know, um, one of those um, material node here, the principal shader. And just by setting a proper name on it, so here I'm going to name that man empty body and um, provide maybe just a color. Uh, if you update the viewport. Now you can see that the characters have been updated properly. So uh, sure, you can also go into a texture, say you want to use a texture and load the texture file. So here into my character pack, I can just locate my uh, shaders from source image, visual character here, and go into, I don't want to show that as a sequence, and just assign that. And once again, by changing, um, I need to remove the color as well. Let's bring it back to white. Now I get uh, my texture being assigned. So what if I want to make shading variation? So if I want to make shading variation, I can see here on that uh, surface shader on that character, I'm having a shader attribute called man MD body, man MD body texture IDX, which has a random value, which is an integer which is a random value between zero and one. So I'm going to store this. And uh, rather than uh, connecting directly with texture, so I'm going to remove that texture here. What I want to use is I want to use a switch. So Houdini provides a switch shader. So that's exactly what I want to use here. So I want to bring that node there. And I want to connect um, the result of my shader to the base color. Um, that switch here has something called a switcher, but also a couple of inputs. So I want to also plug a texture. So I'm going to create two different textures here because my values is between zero and one. So I'm going to have an entry for zero. Actually, with Houdini, entry zero is going to be input one. Uh, the texture I want to use is going to be the one I just previously loaded. So I want to use the Caucasian texture, for example. Uh, I can create another texture node. Oh, you get the idea. Uh, and connect the output of the texture to the input two, which will be my, so that's my entry zero, my entry one here into that node, I want to load another texture. So I'm gonna bring the African uh, skin uh, texture here. And into the switcher, I want to use something called a uh, parameter. And that parameter is what is going to be used to read my attribute. So my parameter is going to be here an integer. So I want to use this as a switcher. And the name of the parameter I'm going to use is the same name that the one I've been saved within um, Maya. So man empty body texture IDX. And that's it. So the only thing is right now it's not supported within the viewport. So if you change uh, the frame, you only get the white color. So uh, we're still on the way to try to figure out how does it work. 
Uh, but within uh, Manfra, if you go within the render view and if you render that, you'll get the variation based on uh, what's being defined into your character. And here you go. So you can see some characters are playing the first the texture, some other characters that get assigned with the other uh, texture, you can get variation. Uh, this variation can be edited from the simulation cache layout tools, obviously, uh, or from the character maker, you can change the value of those attributes. And uh, whenever you're gonna render that, you'll be able to see the result within Mantra. Um, and so here I just made the shader for, um, well, the, the skin, but you can do similar process for the other shaders and you'll be good. So uh, hope that helps and uh, see you into the next video.